Hi, and thanks for following the bite-sized beginner's guide to the HP Reverb G2. In today's video, we're going to explore the welcome tutorial in the Mixreti software, as well as how to customize your home environment. By the way, a big welcome to VR Essentials. We talk about the practical uses of virtual reality and also VR educational entertainment. If it's your first time to the platform, very nice to meet you, lovely to have you here. And of course, a big welcome back to all our regular subscribers. It's always awesome, always awesome to have you among us. In the previous videos, we looked at how to set up the audio, the microphone, and fix the black screen issue if you can't see anything inside of your VR headset, as well as optimize all the settings so that you don't have any stutter or lagging issues of any kind when you launch your first VR experience with the HP Reverb G2. But today we're here to get more familiar as to how to move around and use the controllers with the Windows Mixed Reality tutorial. And also I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks as to how to customize your home environment. So let's begin. Let's just assume that you're continuing from the previous video and that you're going to be putting your VR headset for the very first time. Now what you'll see basically is Mixed Reality telling you that you're about to adjust your VR headset. So all you have to do is point to one of your controllers towards the diamond shape icon there for a few seconds and then you should be able to proceed to the next step. If nothing happens then just press the trigger and then it should do the trick. Now what's going to happen is you're going to be teleported into a tutorial world where basically this is where you get to learn how to use the Mixed Reality controls within the actual Mixed Reality Windows software. It's going to ask you to do a series of exercises including rotating your view using your controller as well as pointing to things using the trigger, making things appear and disappear, and of course the locomotion using teleport. Just a quick tip that when you do reach the diamond section, just point your controller towards one of the diamonds, click on the trigger and then release it, and then you'll be able to see some really wonderful fireworks happening before your eyes. Once you're done with the tutorial, it's gonna ask you to press and hold the Windows button so that it can whisk you away to another world. You'll be directly teleported to a world called Skylock. you may want to do just to familiarize yourself a little bit with your surroundings just look around very slowly at the view and then you can also look below where the buildings are before you go in the actual inside of the skyloft itself there are actually two different environments which you can go to and from including the cliff house as well as the skyloft to go back and forth all you have to do is go onto your controller and then click on the windows logo button again and this will bring up a main menu which will go through very shortly Okay, let's start to move inside. So you'll notice on your left hand side a screen which has the 3D Viewer app there. Now point your controller towards it and click with the trigger to animate the screen. And then choose any of the items. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to choose this really funny looking chameleon who's riding a bicycle. The first thing that you notice is that the 2D image is going to pop up inside of your world as an actual 3D object. So now what you're going to do is take your controller and point at it again and then click and hold the controller. By doing this you'll basically be able to navigate it around left and right and then pull it away further from you or closer to you. In fact the way to make it closer or further to you is by extending or bringing your arm closer towards your body. There's no buttons that you can press here unfortunately to make it go further or closer. You'll also notice that if you point your controller towards one of the corners you'll be able to enlarge the object and make it really as big as whatever you want. You can also turn it right or left so just point your controller towards one of the sides until you see a little GUI there and then press and hold on your trigger. Now that you've grabbed it all you have to do is do the motion of basically basically turning it right or left whilst you're still holding the trigger and then it'll turn as whatever movement you're doing. You notice a few icons there on the blue bar. Now one of them is actually called follow. When you click on that icon on any of the objects that you see inside of the room, they'll automatically follow you so you don't have to click and hold on the trigger anymore as you move around your environment. And of course when you click on it again it will stay stationary in that position so basically when you're moving around it won't follow you anymore. And you could potentially upload any custom 3D objects as well and then basically decorate your home environment to your wishes desire. Let's both meet in the next video where we'll continue the tour and I'll share with you some more tips and tricks as to for example use your browser so you can browse the web within the HP Reverb G2. Let's go!